today I've been playing with wireless power transmission. Along the way I, I've got this uh, Tesla coil working, or, although it's part of a Y-tricity transmitter. I just wrote, uh, wound a secondary and uh, stuck a neon bulb in the top there to, to give it a bit of a glow so I could see when it's tuned up. As you can see it's got some hysteresis. The, uh, the coupling between the secondary and the primary is quite tight and as the uh, secondary approaches resonance it pulls the, the oscillator which is a bit annoying but for our purposes it doesn't really matter. Down here we have a power oscillator. It's built uh, using a pair of uh, in push-pull 2N7000 MOSFETs. It's uh, driving a little tank coil here with about uh, 360 nanohenries of, uh, of inductance and I uh, put my C jig here on it so I can tune it to uh, the resonance of the secondary. <laughs> anyway, what I did notice is that it, uh, there's an interesting effect here with fluorescent tubes. I might have to put it in the dark so you can see it properly, but when the, uh, the, the glow gets quite weak, there's this moving pattern occurs in the discharge. I don't quite know what this is called, or, uh, or what causes it, but uh, it doesn't seem to be, you know, a thermal effect, and a motion of the actual ionized gas inside. I'm guessing it's some kind of electrical effect, but uh, I've never seen it before. Anyway, let's try turning the light off, see if we can get a bit of shot of it. The uh, rate of motion of the dark zone seems to uh, be related to the amount of power that's ionizing the gas, which I can control by <coughs> getting closer or uh, further away from the Tesla secondary. It's also interesting to note that once the discharge collapses completely, I have to bring it quite close to the primary, the secondary to re-ionize the gas. I have another video where I'm doing this with a, uh, an antenna using the same uh, fluorescent tube, which is just a standard 18 watt fluorescent lighting tube, but uh, it did not experience these little dark zones when I was using RF. Although this is this is 20, 21 megahertz RF at the moment, this, uh, this little Tesla coil operates at quite a, a high frequency. Anyway, interesting I thought, and if, uh, if anyone can tell me why and, and how this happens, I'd love to know. Thanks a lot.